daylight in office buildings in Malaysia, a pilot survey on occupant satisfaction and luminous in daylight environment. Studies on daylighting in offices will be focused on luminous condition and occupant satisfaction. The relationship between these variables will affect the visual comfort and recommendation. In the context of Malaysia, the local researchers had stated that Malaysia can achieve the required luminance during the day, and the sky condition is categorized as intermediate by Zin Ahmad, 2008. Malaysia has the highest energy consumption compared to what it has coded by Malaysian Standard 1525, 2001. The guideline introduced by Malaysian Ministry of Energy, Water and Communication, which recommended the BEI to be not more than 135 watt hour per meter square per year. The objectives of this research is to identify whether the existing office buildings comply with recommendation of Malaysian standard. Secondly, it is regarding to survey the understanding of occupants' understanding and behavior through their satisfaction in their lighting. And lastly, to identify the relationship between visual comfort and daylighting. Physically, daylight is another source of electromagnetic radiation in the visible range. Physiologically, daylight is an effective stimulant to the human visual system and the human circadian system. While physiologically, daylight and view are much desired. Combination of these the lighting factors will contribute to lighting quality. The triangulation between three main factors derived from lighting qualities are human needs, economic environment, and architecture. The aspects to be focused in lighting quantity is illumination level that required to perform a task or function and the ability of occupant to perceive figures and ground surfaces like color. Lighting quality will contribute to which a luminous condition supports the requirement like create visual performance, arouse, mood, health and safety. The human performance and building performance can be identified by correlation through the light system. On the human factor aspects, the activity and task requirement plays important role as a user performance criterion. The recommendation, Malaysian standard on lighting for working interiors, recommend 300 to 400 lux, while the lighting guidelines from KIPSE, it stated 500 lux. These are the performance indicator interpretation by Main Cloud Dubois, 2001. This table on impact of shading, devices on daylight quantity in offices. Visual comfort have a close relationship between daylighting and occupant view to outside of building. The visibility aspect of lighting from daylight penetrate from outside of the building determines how much light is needed to perform a particular task. This research starts from the literature review and is segregated into occupant satisfaction and field measurement. Combination of this methodology on questionnaires and equipment simulation will derive the result and conclusion, which means relationship between occupant satisfaction, illuminance and standard guidelines are identified. The studies were conducted on three government office buildings that are Federal Office of Kuala Lumpur, Federal Office of Pulau Pinang and Federal Office of Johor Bahru. The identification of building details are needed in each selection of government office building. Three different government office buildings were undertaken. Using equipment can identify the window height, the equipment, the glazing windows, and to measure the daylight availability in open plan area. The measurement of luminance, which is lux, was using Luxtron X107 light meter. This Luxtron light meter was positioned at 800 meter millimeter depth level. Other than field measurement using equipment, I'm using 
the high dynamic range image analysis from the equipment which using lux meter it shows that Kuala Lumpur more lux to have a very acceptable only when the light were on Kuala Lumpur and Johor Bahru achieved 350 lux to 400 lux while Pulau Pinang only achieved 300 lux during combination lights were used. The assessment on luminous environment not rely on quality of light but to ensure the work plane achieved the minimum intensity standard guidelines of illuminance that measured in lux. The photo simulation is also used in this methodology by having high dynamic range image analysis. A digital camera is installed at specified point in the identified office which captures a sequence of images at different exposures then combined into an HDR image by using an online software. The survey through questionnaires, the objectives and survey methodology has been segregated into three sections. Section A, demographic analysis and office background. Section B, respondents understanding on the lighting. Section C, respondents behavior and preference on office delighting. Results and discussions. Triangulation between various methods. Number one, based on simulation and equipment illumination level. The recommendation on code of practice, lighting and offices to increase lux from 300 lux to 500 lux. Size of the window and selection of glazing at the same time. The larger the glass area, the lower the required visible transmittance. And these Size window and selection of glazing must consider orientation. Number two, based on survey through questionnaires. This is to identify the occupant satisfaction on daylighting and opening. Preference and satisfaction from occupants on daylighting will impact towards their work task. It shows the uneven distribution caused visual discomfort and affect the performance while age and gender does not affect the human performance in these studies. Through demographic analysis, occupants in the office showed 51.1% were male and 48.9% were female. Target group for this survey were general staff, executive officer and top executive. Position of workers showed 40% of the occupants chose to sit facing the sunset, 35.2% facing the sunrise, and 24.2% facing south and north. While the location of workers, 36.3% sit at the center of the office, 34.1% sit at the linear layout, 16.5% sit at the corner of the office, while 13.2% is in deep office plan. From the comparison between occupant awareness to natural lighting and room distance, it shows that the workers who sit near to window, which is 0.15 meters from window, more aware to natural lighting due to their distance to the window. The workers who sit in the deep area, 6.1 meters from window, showed that they were not aware and they need the electrical lighting all the day. The comparison between occupants' awareness to natural lighting and window orientation, it shows that the orientation of the building which facing to the west had resulted the opening should be minimized compared to opening in the other orientation. For building A, the percentage of occupants which agree with window opening, 20.9% shows that the relation between the rated importance present the size of window in the office area. There is a significant correlation between having a window in the work area and the rating of importance of window. The occupant's opinion towards size of the window stated the highest ranking. This may be affected by the location of the building. The influence from surrounding environments such as privacy, noise and view to other buildings may influence the occupant agrees with the size of window. 
respondents' perception on current office building. The comparison between room position and the effects of natural lighting to occupants in office building, it shows that the workers which sit in the center of the building will not agree with the daylight distribution compared to the occupant who sits next to external wall. The occupants who sit at the 0.15 meters from the window that they are aware and understand the daylight availability compared to the occupant who sits more than 3 meters distant from the window. Section C is regarding respondents' behavior and preference on office building. The window need to be developed due to the need of daylighting in office area. Through the size of window, the penetration of daylighting can be estimated by the occupant. Through the question regarding what do you think that need to be improved, the occupants reply that they need blind and curtain to be improved rather than lighting. The three most dissatisfying aspects from building A Blinds and window are the features with the highest ranking and the lowest ranking. These replies to the question which indicate the occupant's need in the current office. It shows that quality and quantity of light give the impact to the occupant at the workplace. The design parameters influence the daylight situation through opening in open plan offices. Thank you.